Your balance. Yeah. You came forward and then you stuck in. Yeah, you'll get on the side there, but not the front there. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say? No, play it, play it, play it, play it. Go back, go back, go back. <laughs> like after Rob hits it. Bad right here. Ten percent fat. Two percent male right here. Yeah. <laughs> well, so what was your workout today? Three rounds. We have four hundred meter run, forty GHC sit ups, and seven deadlifts at four hundred and five pounds. Be a lot heavy. Don't ask me a question. If you don't want to hear what my answer is, I'm gonna answer it. I got no time for the drama. I got no time for the politics. I do not care about names. They don't mean nothing to me. I didn't get in the game to make friends and kiss up the people that don't even like me. You know what I mean? And you see you breaking down one day, Rafa. One day you gotta show me. What's up, Ruth? <laughs> Tell us how you met Ryan. Ryan. Um, it was a. Uh, it was actually one of my first years, kind of here at, at uh, SPX, and uh, we had a men's challenge, a men's competition here hosted by by Phil by SPX, and uh, and I was a judge there. It was my first year judging, I, so I didn't know anything about CrossFit. I don't know who was who. And all of a sudden, I see this guy, this white guy, this Ryan, not not so not so uh, big and muscular at the time. I saw him, I saw him, he was always in the last heat. I saw him first place, first place, first place. I saw him in the final heat and I was like, who is this guy? And after I saw him, I was like, I'm, I was like, I'm trying to beat that guy one day. He's all weak. And then um, after the comp, he ended up winning that. He got first place and uh, later on they told me he was pretty good. He was like one of the best in the radio. And they told me he was going to invite him to uh, something called Only 101 to uh, learn uh, the Olympic level snatch. Full snatch, like a full squat. And he like dropped and fell down. Everything was 135. And at the time, I was like, dang, this guy's really weak. <laughs> and then, uh, now he's, well, now you know who Ryan is after that. That's pretty much how he was. Ramwad. Ramwad, it's like a little bit of yoga. Basically, the philosophy of his, uh, they uh, use like gravity to push you further and further into each position. So, it can be pretty shitty. Just doing a little finished regional prep. Now we're in the ice step. Where are you from, Ryan? From here, Laredo, Texas. Uh, my parents, my mom, well, both of them are from here. Well, I'm, I'll take it back, take it back. My dad actually moved here. He's actually from Pennsylvania. My mom's from here. Uh, my grandfather from my dad's side was in the military, so they got stationed in San Antonio. He came down here for work and met my mom and made me. <laughs> Tell us about your family. Um, I have one brother. He's older. He's about five and a half years older than me. Um, he actually kind of looks like me or I look like him. Um, 
He played sports growing up. He was really. Ooh. Uh oh, down. <laughs> that was a GoPro. <laughs> Uh, he, was, he was really good in sports, played basketball. Um, my parents, um, they came from a small family, uh, just have a high school diploma and just worked hard from the ground up and now they have some pretty good jobs. Um, I have a girlfriend slash future wife. Uh, we have a daughter, she's three years old, going on four, and uh, her name's Skyler and she's a handful. If you think I'm crazy, She's, she's crazy. Doing <laughs> <laughs> hard. Oh, she's about to put up. She's about to put up some weight. <laughs> I got wrapped though. You try and do, do three workouts in a day. Can I breathe? Can I breathe? Can I breathe? Technically, hey, technically PRs every day. You told me. Technically PRs every day. Because sometimes it doesn't have his true legs tied. Technically, technically a PR. Technically a PR. <laughs> uh, sometimes he snatches with his hat forward. Technically a technically PR. Technically a PR. Technically a PR. Go hard. If you could pick a perfect story to sum up uh, who Ryan is, what would it be? We used to do this thing, or we still do it, but um, we used to do this thing where we would go, us two, and we'd go to, to Quiznos, and now we just go wherever to eat. But uh, uh, him 10 minutes, and me about 15 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes to finish my meal, because Ryan, Ryan disposes of everything. But we would stay there and talk for literally like two to three hours afterwards, and we were just always constantly cracking jokes and stuff like that. But uh, there was this one particular time where we, you know, we were talking about workouts, talking about life, talking about different things, and, and Ryan, uh, to that topic we were discussing, Ryan looks at me and goes, look Roy, you can't put a cat in the oven and expect to make biscuits. <laughs> and, and, I him, and I was very confused, but we just cracked up and started laughing. All right, Ryan. I heard that your Spanish is really good. Can you recite all the Loteria cards? <laughs> or as much as you can. Let me put out the card right now. Here you go. You ready? Yeah. El pájaro. La mano. Ash, listen. La bota. La luna. La, la araña. <laughs> El músico, las caras, el camarón, el tomate, el tambor. So Ryan Bender, who was he as a, as a kid? Uh, he was a very active child, always involved in sports, always outside, on his bike, climbing trees, playing baseball in the street, always active, always involved in something. Oh. Tell us, tell us uh, about your family. Dad was great, wonderful sense of humor, and so we really enjoyed our family time together. Um, and he raised us to be very independent, and I tried to do that with, with our boys. And um, there's a lot of drama when there's four girls in a family. But despite all the drama, we love each other very much and we stick together. Uh, tell us about uh, your faith. I mean, what do you, what do you kind of put your faith on? And um, I, have, I mean, me and my family, or my family and I, um, we have a strong faith in God. Um, we don't really like wear it on our sleeves as much, but um, we do pray every night, every morning, um, before dinner. I mean, we we, we do. We do everything for, for Christ, you know. We don't um, boast. I mean, we're, we're really humble. Um, actually, um, it was kind of funny how you, how you brought that up because uh, I think it was in 2014. Um, I kind of like 
I guess lost my way a little bit. I was just doing things that weren't right, you know, and I thought they were right, but um, I would actually have talks with uh, Sessa. Um, I mean, we would work out and we would, we would have like hour, hour and a half talks about just doing things the right way. I mean, talking about God and uh, he's always watching and taking care of us and stuff. And I, I decided to, uh, during the Open, um, I was actually in, in, in on track to go to regionals during the Open and um, I decided to go on a retreat. And um, I mean, it changed my life. So um, it, was, it was a big, big experience there. Um, I mean, I actually felt like God came straight into my heart, and um, from there on, um, I just have a, I have a strong faith in everything I do is for Him. But I, I, a lot of that is because of of Sessa and my family. So I owe, I owe Sessa a lot for, for those little talks that we had. So how has your coaching changed since the first time Ryan went to regionals? Um, I think we've grown together. Um, I want to say the coaching style has changed. I've just added more of his weaknesses. That way he can, um, they can just become his strengths. Um, he's always been a hard worker. He's always come and put in work from time to time. He never really, uh, he never really fell off track. Um, he was always here to work, he was always here to, to grind, and he, 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 he wanted to succeed, he wanted to be good. Um, and that was always his main focus every time he walked into the gym. So I wouldn't say my style has changed, it's just, it's grown with him. Um, it's added more style as far as coaching others around us, just to make other people better. Um, he's just... The style we use is, is, is not different from anybody else that anybody uses nowadays, like Misfit, um, Invictus. Um, it's just more tailored to what he can do and his weaknesses can do and what I feel um, will help him in the long run succeed at these competitions, succeed at the next level, and, and succeed when it's time to, to compete um, in the Open and in Regionals. So you guys are headed to Regionals already? Yeah, uh, third year in a row. Um, it's going to be a good weekend. He's had a good year, um, and the workouts, the workouts are in his favor. It's just about him now.